<laughs> so I'm technically recording using it as a webcam. Hello everyone, it's me once again. So today we've got a very interesting technology actually. It's a spy cam shape of a pen and still you can use it as a pen. So one can imagine you're in the middle of a lecture or let's say if you're interviewing someone, that sort of thing. No other than that, you know, you always have to ask someone's permission, consent before you record it. Please do bear in mind, don't do any silly stuff if you see what I mean. That's exactly what this is for. And it actually upgrades me into a status of someone who's just a regular tech guy to someone almost leveling up with James Bond or Austin Powers, if you see what I mean. And I'm really excited about this product. It's something that I really want to own. So let's say if you're in a scenario that you want to record someone, you ask their permission, but if you actually do this or you hold your sort of camera, turn it on, uh, this person will be sort of intimidated that's like your natural body response while as this one you just need to just turn it on and just hold it up place it on your desk and record this person or their voice because this also does video photo audio pc camera and um and it's very versatile tool so it's one of those things that any tech dude should own if you see what i mean so i'm really excited about it so enough said let's do the unboxing so here it goes. Okay, so moment of truth. Wow, it almost looks like one belong to plant, doesn't it? It actually feels like one as well. That's really cool, look at that. Anyway, before we get into the actual pen, so if you know, open up the package, uh, there's this regular sort of, um, wow. So you can actually clean up your pen. That's really nice gesture. Right, so you can imagine immediately when you look at this, that's where it goes to the front part of the pen for the ink. So all the ink cartridges there. Uh, the regular micro USB um, cable there. So you can see all the details zoomed in here. Quite a long wire, so it'll be quite useful if you could have used it for webcam um, and etc. PC camera. Not sure about this. This is for SIM card, but maybe it's for different purpose for this use. And we got the USB uh, plugging in. So let's look closely onto this um, actual pen, the actual device. So if you zoom right in, you can see that there's the camera there. That's a nice size actually. And I believe the indicator light is on the other side. So if you press this. Um, oh, okay. So I hope that's actually recording it. Anyhow, so if you were to disassemble it, um, that's where the actual um, memory card is and that's how you charge it with the micro uh, USB cable. And this is where you put all the ink and the way how you take the, you know, the pen out, that's how it works. So if we were to scribble it here, let's see if it works. Yep, it does work perfectly fine. So it's a very discreet way to do it. And thinking about it now, um, if you take out the memory card, what this is for is not actually installing software, but I can imagine you actually swap this in and then you plug this into your PC. That's how you transfer data. Or if you have another adapter, that's how you can use it. So that's pretty much it. So the way how it works is you press the actual button here for two or three, I think it's more than three seconds and the red light should come on two, three, you can see that that is basically a um, standby mode. Okay. And then what you need to do is if you press the but power button for two seconds, the red light flashes for one, two, and it will blink one. It should blink three times technically one, two. Okay. So I think that's actually recording the video if you see what I mean. So, um, okay. And I think that's where the mic uh, is recording sound recording is coming from here that's the indicated light because i can't see any other holes if you see what i mean so if i press it for another three seconds it should turn it off by itself i think that's how it works anyhow so that's how you take videos 
If you want to take photo in a standby mode, press the button in a short time. So I think it's like one, two, three, and then you do and power off is basically you just press for three seconds and that's pretty much it. Okay, so there's been a three blink. So let's record a video. Here I am everyone. So apparently this video can be recorded up to 10 minutes and the whole memory cost of 32 gigabytes you can record up to 60 minutes. So in other words, you can record uh, six intervals of 10 minutes of, of 60 minutes of recording altogether. Um, and that's what I'm trying to do now. So I hope you guys could see what's happening with the video here, the quality and the sound. Hello, hello. <laughs> so that's quite cool, isn't it? Um, yeah, and exactly. So when you turn it on, uh, the light flashes, and if you press it for about two seconds, three light flashes, which means that it's the video is being recorded. So you know that uh, the video recording is happening, and that's exactly what you're seeing here. Well done. Yeah. So initially, when I tried to figure out the configuration that is actually on the manual, uh, constantly I was getting the five red light blink and I couldn't figure out what it was but I thought ah so this hasn't been used or charged for a very long time so therefore I have actually been charging it on my PC using the USB cable and after about 30-40 minutes it's working perfectly fine so again as per the manual if you actually click on the button for about three seconds the red light comes in and if you press it for about two seconds after that with which is after the standby mode uh, your video is recording and then if you just press once very quickly that's how you take photos and the red light blinks just once very quickly to indicate that the photo has been taken the quality of the photo i have to say it's a bit dark but then again um, and the other thing is obviously it doesn't have the auto sort of focusing mode but it you can figure out what exactly is going on i can actually see uh, my face as well um, and also, yes, again, if I zoom right in, that's when the focus actually loses itself. But if I zoom, like, kind of come out, it's not bad. It needs a bit of a lighting, actually, because um, our flat um, where I'm living at is kind of dim, actually, I have to admit, even though I'm getting the north light from the actual window. Uh, the video quality, again, it could have been a bit brighter, but um, yes again it's down to what sort of environment you are at the moment so overall it does what it says on the tin and it's very easy to operate but do make sure that you fully recharge your um, pen spy pen before you actually take into action which is really impressive so i have to say thank you very much for giving me this opportunity to review this uh, product the hd uh, the spy cam uh, camcorder pen which also works as a pen and I'm gonna cherish this actually and I, again I do feel like with the tech gadgets uh, devices that I own I've actually been upgraded thanks to this really secretive um, device that I could record someone when I take an interview actually that's that's gonna be really good anyway I hope this video answered uh, what sort of uh, thing it does what sort of quality it produced for the spy cam that I have here. But if you have any queries, please do comment below and I'll be more than happy to come back to you. So thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. All the best, bye-bye.